Orale, Cholo Trucker, Moss Movies and Shows. And here we got the movie 1922. Now, let me go ahead and read the description here. A farmer conspires to murder his wife for monetary gain and convince, convinces his teenage son to participate. Wilfred and his son Henry soon become delusional as they continue on their lives. Okay, man. This movie came out in 2017. I never heard of this movie before. Uh, this movie is by Stephen King. It's based on the novel. So I've never read the novel. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm never going to read the novel either. So if some of you guys have read the novel, let me know, man. Let me know if, uh, if it goes with the movie or not. Because the movie... So much. It doesn't leave you on a cliffhanger, but it's uh, I, I don't think it ends that well. But nonetheless, um, basically. It exactly what the description says, that's pretty much what the movie is. OK, but the point what's going on here is that and I'll try not to spoil it for you guys, man. I'll leave the trailer pinned in the comment section below and the trailer. I'll tell you pretty much what's on the trailer, man. So, um. They're going through a rough marriage uh, because she wants to move to the city and he doesn't. He wants to stay there with all the land. And they only have one son, one kid, I should say, which is a son, teenage son. And he's come to fall in love with the girl next door. But again, it's not like right, right next door. This is a bunch of actors I've never seen before, except for the next door neighbor. Him, I have seen, but um, it was it caught my interest because I went ahead and watched the trailer and I'm like, okay, I could watch it with my crazy local wife. She kind of likes this stuff, right? Where it's like, oh, okay, the, the husband murdered the wife, right? And now everybody's looking for her like, hey, what's going on? Again, this is back in 1922. So it's not like they have DNA evidence or anything of that sort. So, yeah, I, you know, I found it uh interesting to watch and what was crazy is that yeah he talked his son into killing his mom and you know it's like hey we'll just go on with our lives you know now that she's gone we're not gonna have to sell the land we're not gonna have to move you could be next to your girlfriend who you love dearly and you know life will go on without her um at some point she kind of starts haunting them a little bit um, people become suspicious, like, wait, she's not really the type to get up and just leave. I was like, yeah, but she did, you know, she grabbed the suitcase and she took off. <laughs> um, I don't want to really spoil it too much. It's an okay movie. It's, it's a decent, it's a watchable movie. It's, it's good enough to watch. But it's not good enough where you can't miss it. If you never watch it, that's fine. You don't have to. It's um, it's somewhat of a... It's not that much of a horror movie. It's not like her coming back and haunting them is super duper scary. Or like it's a huge part of the movie. It's a part of the movie. But it's not a huge part of the movie. Uh, they make her look kind of scary, that's for sure. And then the rats, just a bunch of rats everywhere. Like that was uh that was one thing, man. Um where was he when he was writing the letter? I'm not really sure. Uh, but he was kind of just telling the story by writing the letter. Uh his son. Um, again, I don't want to kill it too much for you guys, but his son becomes this outlaw. You know, they become like this Bonnie and Clyde. And I don't really get the end. It's like, hey, dad, you know, this, this isn't going to hurt much. And it's like, well, wait a second. You guys are, uh, can you guys kill him? Like, what's what's going on here? Because are you guys, well, I don't want to get too far and, and ruin it too much. But, or spoil it too much. But, um. Nonetheless, man, look, if you got a little bit of time on your hands, man, go ahead and watch it. Um, it is somewhat of a long movie. I will say that. All right. So it is a little bit of a long movie, 
But I look, I, I, I thought it was interesting. I did. And it's really only just called 1922 because that's the year it took place. Um, and the movie, what is it? An hour and 40 minutes long? Okay, so it's not that long. It seemed a little longer than that. I just looked at it right now. It's an hour and 40 minutes long. So it's not that long. But um, yeah, uh, look, I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad I could put it in my books. But again, you don't have to watch it. It's just an all right movie. If you never watch it, that's cool. You're not missing anything that big or huge. I'd like to know, does the movie end differently in the novel? Does it say exactly what happened? Because it still leaves it just kind of goes dark you don't hear him yell it's like okay so then what happened and where the heck was he when he was writing the letter anyway that's my thoughts on 1922 it's decent and that's about it cholo trucker moss movies and shows i'll catch you guys on the next one